Here in the first vertical circle method, we use holding the ball posture and maintain it throughout the whole circle. To do this, concentrate your feeling awareness at your wrists. In method two, we follow the same procedure, but at the apex of the circle, our wrists and hands turn over. Here, in the basic method, we begin with weight shifts, moving forward and moving backward, and matching those with our circle. As we go away from our body, we move backwards, and as it comes in toward our body, we move forwards. This is the most basic method and applies to both vertical circle types. In addition to shifting our weight as we move through the various parts of the circle, as we come in and up, we also draw the tissue from the pubic bone up toward the throat notch and inward toward our center line. As we move backwards, we drop the weight out our back and down our feet. In and up and down and out. Here in the side view, you can see the weight shifts from front to back as we move through the circle and also the lifting and dropping out. Lifting as we move forward, dropping out as we move back. The timing of the dropping out dictates the response of the hands. Once all the external movements have been accomplished, we begin to internalize the weight shifts and the lifting and the dropping. In order to do this, we draw the tissue from both the front and the back up into the central channel and then drop it out down the central channel and down the back. Here you see slight movements, but there are big movements on the inside. Here are both vertical circle methods done with staggered alignment, such as we would use for our Jian Wu. Notice the speed of the dropout dictates the speed at which the circle finishes and the hands release. This dropout should be the motivation of the finish of the circle, such that the arms, wrists, and hands become like an echo or an after effect of the release. In order to achieve the whole body linkage we desire, we must be aware with the circle that not only are the wrists and hands circling, but also the elbows, shoulders, shoulder blades. And later, this becomes more internal and involves the tissue inside the torso and the legs. Here in slow motion, we can study and analyze the various aspects of the circle, our weight shift, the lifting of the tissue, the dropping out of the tissue, and most especially the timing of all this.